Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. What's up guys, I'm at CES 2012. We are at the Sphero booth. We're gonna take a look at their product. Hi. Sphero is a uh, robotic ball and a uh, gaming system. It comes with uh, five applications. This is one of them here, uh, the Drive app. And uh, to drive it, we can, we can just uh, point in the literal direction that we're driving. And we're the green ball right over there. This particular application also comes with a uh, tilt drive that we can uh, drive by tilting the phone about. And using its internal sensors, Sparrow will keep its heading and its orientation, allowing us to uh, drive it much more intuitively. We have a draw and drive app here where uh, Sphero will draw any path that you trace. There are third party companies that are, uh, in, are making games right now and they'll be out soon. Uh, we have a couple of games that are being demoed right over here where you can hold Sparrow in your hand. And uh, by rotating Spiro on its axes, you can control a video game character, or you can even move uh, a 3D object in space that way. We also have a uh, development kit available, so if you're a developer, you can go to our site at GoSpiro.com and uh, download the development kit and uh, start developing games for Spiro in about an hour. So that is the Sphero. You can get it at GoSphero.com for 130 bucks. That's the only downfall to it is it's kind of expensive, uh, but it is a fun little toy, and I think it has a lot of potential. He was showing us some of the augmented reality games he has. Uh, he said he's got developers working on different games for it. Uh, so if you actually bought this, uh, developers develop their own apps uh, to work with the Sphero. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, all the apps they have are free, and there's five of them, and uh, it does some pretty cool stuff. So check it out if you want to. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, click the like button if you enjoyed it. All right, stay tuned for more CES videos. Peace. No one likes to parallel park, but when you use the Active Park Assist feature found on the Ford Focus, you remove the stress by using ultrasonic sensors to identify an open parking spot. Pair this with the rear view camera and the car practically parks itself. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.